They're on deep stretch. And Teague sneaks a peek in the rearview mirror. Wiggle it, jiggle it, steamrolls home. He'll win this first Pepsi North America Cup elimination by at least six, seven lengths. Wiggle it, jiggle it. He was dominant from start to finish. 149 and two over Ark Hanover. You've been an assistant trainer to George Teague for many years. Can you tell us a little about how your partnership started out? Well, I started with George. Oh, I think it was a, I forgot exactly. It's been so long, I've been there so long, I forget what year he even came there. But he asked me, you know, I used to go up and train, help him train on weekends. I lived about like a hundred and some miles from him, but I had horses, you know, some on my own. But I would always go up weekends and stuff and help him. And he asked me, did I want to come to work for him? And I said, yeah. And the rest is history. And Wiggle It Jiggle It only raced once last year, but I understand you picked up on how special this colt was early. What stood out about him? He showed a lot of speed. But I, I, he, I never thought as, as much speed as it has. Because he was training one day, and I told George, I said, he looks as good as anything we've had. We hadn't even qualified him. Then when he qualified, he showed, you know, he could pace. And his first start, <clears throat> He showed he could pace a lot, you know, because they had him. He was in with, you know, seasoned horses, and he come first up on him and just through the lane when he crossed over, they were still at the back. And when Montreal absent the pace, he just drew off. Mile of 51, his first start. Ladies and gentlemen, for anyone but, um, interested, the morning after that, has been completed for the we thought about America going out to Indiana because he was staked and out there. Going to be as follows, but it was questionable top, whether he'd make enough three, points for a win out there to even make the final. So we just say he wasn't, he had little lameness issues too. So we just decided to set him, shut him down Cup. and bring him back this year. Post then two, we started him up kind of early. He'll be the five to two. Race him a couple times in the middle to see if he was as Ashi good as we thought he was. And I say the first start there. The first Famous start we raced him at Dover. He went like 52 and then we went to the middle lanes. He went his first start against age horses in like 49. So. We knew then he could go with some of the four is best out there. To one. He's been compared to some top horses already, but how do you think he stacks up against the rest of the field, and who do you think is his biggest competition? In there? I don't like to brag. I don't think, you know, I don't think they can beat him. Seriously, I don't think they can beat him. You know, you might be wrong, but I don't think so. And what were your thoughts on his elimination, and how did he come out of the race? Come out of the race good. You know, I'm jogging this morning. He's bucking and playing, you know, on the track. So he's all right. Yeah. And based on his strengths and weakness, how do you feel about the rest of the draw? Well, the way he can leave, you know, you can you can dictate. You, you can get to the front pretty quick. You know, you can you can make everybody duck quick. And I think that's a big asset when you got a horse can leave as fast as he can. You know. And I think most of them, they know him. I don't think they'll challenge him like that. Because he, he showed he can go as much on the front end. And it really, you set him in a hole and come off cover. He really pays fast, you know. So where he lands, we're still confident. We're confident wherever he, wherever he gets away in the race. So. Well, good luck on Saturday. Yeah, thank you.